Hey guys, so I've been spending some time on the Gold Coast in Australia, and um, it's interesting, that's my hometown. And um, it's interesting being here and looking around the property market, because we've actually been looking for another a place to buy. But um, the market is hot, like prices have been going ridiculous. Um, and it's, it's I mean, it's, it's amazing because speaking to mates who are property, you know, property on the Gold Coast, that sort of things, what generally happens is, Gold Coast stays still and then it shoots up and then stays still and sometimes it skips an entire cycle so you can be 15 20 years without a lot of growth okay and um, but what's been happening now is prices have just kept going up but the interesting thing is it's not a definitive answer but this is the the reasoning behind it is that you have the local market and the local market around here um, you know is it, you're not earning as much as say in Melbourne or Sydney but what's happened in Melbourne, Sydney, prices have gone through the roof, okay? So what you're finding is people who are don't like the lifestyle, don't like the politics down in Sydney or Melbourne are now selling up. They may have had a, you know, I had an example the other day, 200,000 pounds they paid, or 200,000 dollars they paid for their property that's now worth four million, okay? Now that was over 27 years, but that's still a bloody lot. You know, if you think about it, that's double to 400, double to 800, double to 1.6 and double again, you know. So it's, you know, it's it's incredible what's happened in the in an Australian marketplace. But the reality is, is a lot of people are selling up there. They're saying, you know what, I'll move to the Gold Coast, which is kind of, it's it's a holiday destination. It's a great lifestyle, beautiful weather. Um, and, and really, it's got everything going for it. Yeah, it's not a back ta backwards town now. You know, it's got everything going for it. And same with Brisbane too. But the interesting thing is, what they're doing is they're selling up there, taking the cash they made, buying a house for say two million, and they're probably got another two million left over, okay, that they can use to live off, as well as their superannuation. But from what I'm hearing, it's also happening in Texas, in Florida, it's happening in a lot of places around the world where basically there is good weather, holiday destinations, you know, you've got these golden visas and all these sort of thing programs that are doing really, really well, attracting people to buy a property and to retire. Because think about it, who's retiring now? We've got the largest portion of the population that over the next 10, 15 years are going to be retiring. And they're going to look for places where they don't need the four million pound house now. What they need is a place to live that's close to, walkable to, you know, and close to the kids, all that sort of stuff. And I think this is where we're going to see certain areas. So I talk about cities, not towns. I talk about the cities, you know, London, Manchester, Birmingham. But the reality is there'll also be the places where uh, retirement and where lifestyle and good weather and all these sort of things will be taking place. And people want to move there and they'll have a lot of equity. That equity then go, you know, go with them. Effectively, they'll spend a little bit less on a house, yeah, or less on a house and live off that with their pension. And uh, in that local area, house prices will be artificially increased, which is what's happening in the Gold Coast right now. Not in all areas of the Gold Coast, although it is, you know, generally if you have one place coming up, it will drag the other places up with the ripple effect with it. So yeah, the question is, is do you have an area like the Gold Coast around you that you potentially could invest in that has the same dynamics as the Gold Coast? Yeah. It doesn't take a lot of people from Sydney and Melbourne to move to the Gold Coast to actually have that art of that market lifted up, okay? And that's the case. It could be, you know, it could be anywhere from, you know, um, down south in the UK, you know, on the on the um, coast, you know, whether that be Brighton, those sort of places all the way along the coast there. However, I will say this. This is big macroeconomics. It's not actually something that, you know, unless it is definitely happening and you're seeing it happening and it's recognized, it's probably not something you want to get in there and preempt too much because it might not happen or it might change. The fundamentals may change. But the reality is, is this is happening in a lot of places now where baby boomers are retiring and their biggest asset is their home. And so what's happening is they're downsizing, taking a buying here which means they can afford more in that area whatever that area is and keeping whatever other equity they've got to live off okay anyway just a thought see you guys